Hey everybody, this is Lee again, and um, in my last video I ended by talking about the bone growth stimulator, this, this contraption here, and uh, I was actually wearing it when I recorded that video. So there were some questions about the bone growth stimulator, what is it, how do you use it, blah blah blah. So I'm going to go through that really quickly with you guys. Um, for those of you who this is your first time seeing any of my videos, this, this video playlist or series is around the ACDF sur surgery, which stands for anterior, which means the front of the neck, cervical, because we're talking about things that deal with your spine, Dis D, D or discectomy, which has to do with the, um, the, the, uh, the discs. Uh, they have to go into the discs and they do some things in the discs to make the uh, the spacing between the discs is a little bit wider. They do some other things in there. And then the fusion. Once the discs are cleaned out and they're situated, then they, um, they put titanium plates um, to hold the discs open and, or apart. They literally they jack them open and they put a cage in there or an insertion in there with some type of bone graft. And, uh, and then the fusion of your own natural body process will make it so that you have a much stronger neck structure, all right? And that's where this unit comes in. The bone, stimu the, the, uh, bone stimulator later basically in, it, uh, accelerates the bone growth, the bone growth process. So it's a bone growth stimulator. And basically it's just worn around your neck like that. It can be worn with or without your, your um, neck brace on. Uh, I tend to wear it with my neck brace on. It has a control device here right in the front. It's got the charging port right here in the front. And it only has one button on the top that you have to fiddle around with. It's got an adjustable strap here that you can use to get it to the proper comfort length and so forth. Uh, so basically what this does, it stimulates bone growth by sending out electromagnetic pulses through these through this right through these right here this is very this is rigid i mean it's bendable but it's very rigid but apparently there are magnets in there and they do their thing and they send these uh, electromagnetic pulses now the person who was showing me how to wear this she called them osteoblasts so maybe that's a name you would want to look up osteoblasts i hadn't heard that word before but i it's a cool word so i, I like that i'll i'll keep using it and see if i can fit it into a sentence properly <laughs> anyway so some of the questions people had was like, what does it feel like? And well, it doesn't feel like anything. You don't feel anything with it. The only thing you feel is the weight of this thing when it's on your neck. And that is, that's nothing. It weighs less than a pound, I think nine ounces or something like that. That's right. Yeah. Not, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really lightweight. I, I, you hardly know that you have it on. And um, so there's no feeling of, of it while it's doing its process at all. Someone else asked, well, what can you hear it? What's the sound? Well, what, when I'm wearing it like this, there is no sound. I don't hear anything. However, you can hear it. And the way you would hear it is if you put put this, you know, one of these right up against your ear, you would you would you could actually hear the actual electrical impulses. So if you're so inclined to do that, you could and you want to just hear what it sounds like, you can do it. Um, the other way you can hear it is if you plug in any set of headphones that you put on your head, <laughs> you'll hear it through the headphones. I found that out because I was doing some work on my computer and I wanted to listen to some music and I plugged my headphones into the computer and I'm getting this sound and the sound is kind of like a, like a Geiger counter. I guess that's the only way I can describe it. Just to click, 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 click like that. And I couldn't figure out where the heck that was coming from. I unplugged everything and I still had the headphones on and it was like, ah, okay. That's the sound coming from it. So not only can, will you hear it through your, your wired headphones, but if you put in earbuds, you're also going to hear it through your earbuds. And um, so I would imagine that if you have a hearing device, uh, I don't know, you might want to talk to whoever showed you how to use this and ask them the fact that you're wearing a hearing aid or something like that, you know, does it affect this uh, or how do you mitigate it? One thing I did find though is um, these are not my, my Apple earbuds. These are called um, status pros. Um, they're, they're a step down from the, the earbuds, but they sound better than the earbuds in some level, some ways. So when I put this in my ear like this, 
Uh, I have great audio sound. I can still hear it, but I can actually still hear all the other stuff. I can hear music. I can. I could probably talk on the phone. I didn't try it, you know, but if I had to talk on the phone, I would just simply turn this thing off. All right. Um, what does it cost? Well, if you get it through insurance, it doesn't cost you anything. The insurance company pays for the full cost of it. Um, I do understand that uh, for those people who don't have insurance that will cover it, you can actually go through the company and they will um, work out some kind of a payment plan or I think they'll even rent it. I think that's one of the things they're looking at. Uh, my doctor, it's a, it's, this is licensed by the, F, the FDA and so um, it's a prescription. You can't just go and buy this. You have to get it from a doctor and it has to be prescribed. And um, basically you wear it for eight, four hours a day. You don't have to wear it consecutively for four hours. You can wear it for an hour, um, four times a day, or you can wear it for an hour and a half and then go off, do some errands and come back, put it on. And uh, it will keep track of where you left off. Like I said, there's only one button that you have to worry about. You push the button, it pairs up and it's on. And that's basically it. It'll, it'll show you how many times you've used it. It'll show you how many much time is left in the, uh, the cycle of the four hours. And it'll also show you the battery life. This thing, basically every time you use it, you do have to charge it though. So, um, so that's, that's okay. The other thing is it does have an app that goes with it. So you can download an app and the app will make it so you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. The way this display is set up, when you hold it up like this, you can actually read the display. It's, 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 it's upside down from, from someone looking at it from your perspective. But you can use the app and you hold the app up and it'll actually show you your run times and, and, and a few more things. I don't think you can turn it off from the app yet. I haven't tried that. Can you sleep with it? Um, I, you know, I think you probably could sleep with it. So if you wanted to just wear it for a couple hours at night or a couple hours in the morning, if you got up early and you just want to throw it on. Uh, I tried it this morning. I put it, I got up early. I had to go to the bathroom. So I decided, you know what, let me put it on, get it started. This way I'll get it done. And um, I was able to lay with it for about an hour and a half. It wasn't all that comfortable for me because I couldn't get it quite comfortable. I didn't have the collar on. I just had it around my neck. But I would need to just angle it, prop it in a different way. And I probably could wear it while, wear it while I was sleeping. So, But if you're sitting upright and you're wearing it, then you, if you could sleep upright, uh, no problem at all. How long do I have to actually use this? I think I use it until the doctor says he's seen enough bone growth that I no longer need it. Because this is just to facilitate bone growth. I read somewhere that it could facilitate bone growth by up to make up 50% 50, 50 faster than if you didn't use one of these. So if for some reason you have a pacemaker that you may not be a candidate for this, or you have some other medical condition that might not be a candidate for this, doesn't mean that you won't heal without this. It's just that this makes it a little, this makes it much faster. So I'm counting on that. How long do I have to wear? Like I said, until my doctor says, okay, I think we're done. Um, this is programmed for me to be able to wear it for up to a year. Um, and then at the end of a year, basically it just locks up. You can't use it anymore. Like I said, it's a, a FDA approved. It is a prescription. So once your prescription runs out, it's basically not, it's not useful to you at all unless you just want to wear it to look like Darth Vader or something like that. <laughs> or you can, you can tell people it's a time machine or something like that, or, or it's a truth indicator. Not only is it a bone growth indicator, but it's a truth meter also. Gonna let me aim it right at you. Where's my money? You know what I mean? So <laughs> you can have fun with people on that one. Um, and then after you keep the box that it comes in, because basically what you're going to do with it once you don't need it anymore is put it in the box, send it back and recycle it, I guess. So I think that's it. I don't think there was anything else. I think I've got all the things I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, um, this is not, you can't wear it in the shower. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can't wear it in the shower. You probably shouldn't wear it in a drenching rain or anything like that. Uh, like I said, it's very lightweight, it's easy to wear. Um, the uh, ergonomics of it seem to be perfectly fine, so you can wear it with the collar or without the collar uh, if you're wearing that. And, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it looks it's pretty easy to put on, take off with the collar on, without the collar, you know, that's it. Bone growth stimulator. <laughs> okay, that's it, everybody. Don't wear it like this. <laughs> Stay safe. See you later.